Mandy Rose says she was hurt and disappointed by WWE release. Jay White is reportedly expected to leave New Japan Pro Wrestling when his contract expires. AEW's Kyle O'Reilly is dealing with post-surgical issue and more. Welcome back to another episode of The Latest. I'm your host, Denise Salcedo, and we got a couple of new stories to dive into here today. Kicking things off with a recent interview that Mandy Rose just did talking about her WWE release. Take a look. During a Tuesday appearance on the Tamron Hall talk show, Mandy Rose opened up about her release from WWE for the first time. The 32-year-old Rose was released from the company on December 14th, which was less than 24 hours after she lost the NXT Women's Championship to Roxanne Perez. The reason for Rose's release was adult-themed content that she was posting on her fan time page subscription service. Mandy told Hall that she was very hurt and very disappointed by her release. Rose says it's been a really crazy last few months, but she's incredibly grateful and blessed for everything that has happened to her. Mandy Rose said that she didn't know the reason she was dropping the NXT Women's Championship when her match against Roxanne Perez occurred. The match was originally supposed to take place at January's NXT New Year's Evil event, but was moved up to December. Rose said she was shocked about losing the title when she did, but she also had some inclination about the situation. Mandy Rose then said she was never told that her fan time page was why she was released. When asked about rumors that she was warned about the content, Rose said there was one warning and she complied with it. Mandy Rose also noted during this interview that there is some confidentiality. Rose expressed gratitude for her time in WWE and for the support she's received from her fans. Hall then asked Rose if she would want to return to the company in the future, in which she said, quote, I would say obviously never say never. I'm not moving on and looking back and being like, yes, this is my past. Never say never. I don't know what the future holds. Rose was then asked if she would take down her fan time page as a condition of returning to WWE, in which Rose replied, it would have to be a conversation. Rose said she's learned that her name, image, and likeness is extremely valuable and now she can self-monetize, have complete brand control, and have a direct relationship with her fans. Rose said that learning that was a moment of empowerment for her. Earlier this month, Fantime congratulated Rose on making $1 million on the service during the month of December. Rose told Hall that she could have made that kind of money in WWE long term, but she's made more on Fantime than she could have ever made in WWE right now. One of New Japan Pro Wrestling's top wrestlers could be bound for either WWE or AEW. Fightful Select reported on Tuesday that Jay White is expected to leave New Japan Pro Wrestling when his contract expires, which is, quote, relatively soon. Fightful's report states that those they've spoken to believe that both WWE and AEW are interested in signing Jay White. WWE sources that Fightful spoke to, quote, seemed confident that they would land him, but that's not official and no company can officially reach out to Jay White until his New Japan Pro Wrestling contract is up. The report also says that members of the New Japan Pro Wrestling roster are of the belief that Jay White wants to be in the United States for the time being. Jay White lost the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship to Kazuchika Okada in the main event of New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 17 earlier this month. New Japan Pro Wrestling has announced that Jay White will face Hikaleo in a Loser Leaves Japan match at the New Beginning in Osaka February 11th. White is a two-time world champion for New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's also held the IWGP Intercontinental title, IWGP United States Heavyweight title, and the Never Openweight title. White wrestled for AEW on an episode of Rampage last February. He also defended the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling's Forbidden Door pay-per-view. White appeared for Impact Wrestling for a period of time in 2022 as well. PW Insider reported on Tuesday that Carl Fredericks has officially signed with WWE and will be part of the NXT brand. 
He announced in August that he was no longer under contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling and wouldn't be re-signing with the company. Kyle O'Reilly hasn't wrestled since the June 8th edition of AEW Dynamite. The 35-year-old revealed in September that he underwent fusion surgery for a neck injury. Kyle O'Reilly posted to Instagram this weekend, noting that he has been with a post-surgical issue that he will disclose at a later date. Kyle O'Reilly said, quote, dealing with a post-surgical issue that I will disclose at a later date has caused me a lot of frustration and I've spent the last few months of 2022 with anger and confusion. In order for me to return to the ring, I simply cannot come back as good as I was. I have to become better in every aspect of my athletic wellness. Many of you are aware of my battle with type 1 diabetes and that also puts me at a disadvantage in terms of healing and recovery. Expect more from me as the months go on and witness a glimpse into how I rebuild and retrain myself for a return that I can't wait for you all to see. Becky Lynch posted a tweet on Monday revealing that she's back filming on the Young Rock set. She'll again be playing musician Cyndi Lauper on a future episode of the show. Let us know your thoughts on any of these stories in the comments section below. That is it for today's video, but I will be back with more throughout the week. Catch you on the next vid.